so today I am going to be making some tags. I was asked by my church group to make some tags that um, people could put on top of presents and also tags that they could put together as a gift to give away. I wanted them to be simple enough that anyone could do it so beginners, they didn't have to have a lot of supplies to make them. Um, I also wanted them to be different enough that you couldn't just go out and buy them, you know, a, a tag or something that's even cuter. So with that being said, I have a little pile of um, images here that are already all cut out. You'll notice some of them are from like past videos that I just had like left over. And um, some of them are when I got my first um, stamps, like the Toyland stamp. I stamped it up and colored it just to see what it looked like because I couldn't wait. Okay, so I was coloring the, these actually and one of my Copic markers just flew onto the tag, which I'm okay with. Um, but I'm going to cover it and, and I don't know if you can see this, but there's like a little embossed edge all the way around. And I wanna keep that. So I'm going to just grab a pencil here and kind of make a little tiny nick mark just so I know where um, to cut it to still keep the um, edge. And then I'm just going to cut a little snow bank. Actually, I think I might want it a little deeper. There we go. You can cut yours however you want. And I believe I will use a couple foam adhesive. These are from American Crafts. One thing I love about them is that they come off so easy. Okay, and then I think I will use, I love that with the North Pole. I think it's just adorable. But I'm not sure, I kind of love the snowman on it too. He's adorable. Okay, I'm gonna put him on there. Oh, I guess he doesn't really need that on the top, just on the bottom, because he needs a pop dot on the top. And then a little pop dot for his head. Like that. And then pull out that. Um, I want this, like I said, to be very, very simple. So I have taken a bunch here of the little tiny tags from Paper Tray Ink and cut them. So I think I'm going to hang just a couple of these on top of the tag. Like if I did this one. How adorable would that be? Okay. Okay, so I just have the trendy twine, um, totally white twine here. And I hope that trendy twine's um, twine is so amazing, and but it's kind of a little thicker than like the cheap twine. So I'm hoping, yep, I'm hoping it would go through. So, and it does. Put through all three of them. This would be adorable and if you didn't have the um, these little tags here. It'd be really, really cute to hang like a charm or um, something else on top. So there's one tag. Um, I do, however, want to add just a little bit of glimmer. They probably won't be doing this part. Maybe they will, I don't know. Um, so I'm just gonna trace a few of the snowflakes on this paper. And then just put a little bit on the scarf. 
because everything's better with glitter and shimmer, in my opinion. Okay, so there's one little tag. Okay, so I'm going to do um, a similar thing with this one. I'm not going to pop this up though on the pop dots. Oops. Just going to lay it flat. And actually, I wonder, it might be too tall. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take this and lay this one flat also. And then just line up the two bottoms there. So it looks like it's um, the bottom of a snowbank. Hi, Pearl. Every time you hear the little bells, that's Pearl's collar. I've had a couple people ask me what that is. That's her. She's making her presence known. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing at the top here. Just take a couple of these little tags. Actually, I think the yellow would be cute. And um, a little more trendy twine. And then just add a little shimmer to the little um, red on the poles. And then the north pole. And the snow. Why not? So there's our little second tag. I want these um, tags to be super simple and fast because they want to make a bunch of them. So, so far we have two cute little tags. Next, I hope this all fits on here. Okay. So it looks like just the two of these are going to fit. I'm going to place this actually just down onto the tag. And I really feel like you don't have to add a ton to a tag or um, a card. It can be very, very simple with um, very little supplies if you, um, you know, put it together correctly. I'm just coloring in this whole star here. And then I have little baby Jesus on some pop dots. And instead of glossy accents, I think I'm just going to put this on it. It dries faster. Okay, and then um, to go along with the theme so they all kind of go together, I'm gonna to do a couple of the little tags at the top. So here's one. And... Perfect. Okay, so there's our next little card, or tag. And then for this one, just have that fuzzy paper, place it down pretty much everywhere except for I'm just going to leave a little spot so that I can place my snowman inside the snowbank this time. Line it up with whichever edge you would like and then flip it over and cut off the excess. And then 
place our little snow dude down inside the snow bank. And then I think I want this cute little bird on the outside. And since this is um, fuzzy, I'm going to use one of my red tape um, little pop dots so that um, I know it's going to stick. You remember all my videos I'm always like I love these things I have like a love-hate relationship they sometimes they're so difficult to get off and, then, and these little mini tags are great for um, tags like this that are really covered um, and done up on the front I feel like it's a great way you can add your um, to and from or the name of the recipient on the front and then your message on the back. Okay, and then I had this from the freebie video that I had done. And um, so I just had it lying here, which is great, way easy. I, you know, I don't wanna waste things that I've already spent time making. So actually for this, I think I'm going to use some puffy paint and I'll let this one dry. So then I just squeeze it on exactly like stickles, but puffy paint, which I love because it's cheap and it gives it an amazing texture, almost like a paste would which is a lot of fun. Plus, if you're anything like me or if you're my age, you remember playing with puffy paint and making shirts and things like that. At least we did at my house and it was so much fun. I'm just gonna put a little dot in each corner here. Draw my snowflake in the puffy paint. Just the major lines because it's thick. Oops, <laughs> I just went to put the slit on it. That's awesome, I forgot it doesn't have a lid, it has a little pin. Okay, and then for This. We'll place these two on there. And then since this one is still wet, I have to be a little bit more careful and place these two underneath just until it's done drying. Still gonna tie it on so that I can call it finished. Can you see that cool texture from the side? So much fun. And if you don't like it, I mean, you can always just like kind of push it down or whatever. Okay, so that one's going to dry. And then I have one more here that I'm thinking my cute little elf would be adorable, but he's so tall. He always could like hang off, you know, the edge or whatever. Um, I think I'm just going to put just the snowman Actually, I'm going to take the puffy paint. Now that I've played with it, I want to play with it even more. 
and I'm just going to draw kind of like a little snow bank. Just to the edge where it goes and then I'm just going to kind of fill it in here. There's like a something inside there. Come on out. Isn't that awesome? I knew it was going to happen, but I'm okay with that because I'm just going to spread it. It was a super hard piece in there and it wouldn't come out. So if you're not afraid of getting your fingers yucky, I'm just kind of You can do this with regular um white paint if you don't have puppy paint. I just like the look of puffy paint. See all that cool texture? Love it. Okay. And then my little snow dude here. I'm just going to stick them in the puppy paint and let them dry. And then just take a glitter pen and go on the orange here. And the ball is hat. And that's it. Okay, so here is look at all of our cards. Or I mean our tags. I, I keep saying that. And they were with things I already had on hand, which is a great way to use the products that you thought might you, you might use for a different card, but you ended up not using. So there's six little tags that all could go together as a gift or on top of actual presents. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, just let me know. And I... Hope you guys will create something that's perfectly imperfect and I'll see you next time. Bye.